Hey guys, figured I'd update with a progress report on trying to get Megasquirt up and running for the first time. Uh, right here I have a little test rig set up where I can uh, confirm all of the spark to each coil pair. Uh, I say coil pair because this is a wasted spark ignition system. So one and six will fire together, two and five will fire together, three and four will fire together. I uh, have the number one uh, cylinder hooked up to my timing light here so I can check and make sure that my initial cranking advance is correct. Right now in Tuner Studio it's set at 20 degrees before top dead center. So that's hopefully the number that I'm shooting for here. Uh, in order to make sure that the number one cylinder uh, is able to be read by your timing light, you need to get a little creative and use an older spark plug wire, stick it on the bo bottom of your coil on plug, and now your inductive pickup will be nice and happy. I also have this external switch hooked up to my starter so I can turn the engine over by hand from this position uh, because I always work alone and I don't have the novelty of someone either holding the key inside or uh, holding the timing light over here and telling me what it's reading. So without further ado, I will uh, go ahead and confirm that I have spark at all six coil pairs, or three coil pairs rather, and uh, we will go from there. So you open up spark test mode, output test mode, enable test mode, coil A, start it. All right, my timing light is flashing. That's good. So I've got spark at number six and at number one. Coil B, check that pair. Coil B is three and four. They appear to be working. And coil C, last but not least. Okay, that's two and five, confirmed. So, we'll get out of output test mode, leave the ignition on, and now I will confirm that every coil is firing when the engine is spinning, and I will also confirm that the initial cranking timing right now is set at about 20 degrees before top dead center. So I'll go ahead and pull out my handy dandy little switch. It'll get loud and annoying for a second. We'll take a look at the coils, make sure they're firing, and then we'll take a look at the timing mark and see if that's at 20 degrees before top dead center. Uh, I'll try to get the camera as close as I can. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything with the timing light, but I'll do my best. All right, it's about to get annoying. All right, so we have spark at each of those. And there's my mark, there's 20 degrees. So I'd say, I'd say we're good. So if my timing is correct, which I believe it is, and I know I have air, I know I have fuel pressure at the rail at least, uh, if my injectors are functioning properly, which is still an unknown at this point, uh, the car, in theory should start I believe. So I will go ahead and take this test rig all apart and uh, put the car back together, hook the fuel pump and everything back up and we will uh, go from okay. there. Start attempt. This is with it hooked up uh, ACB currently.
Okay, now I'm going to open up the throttle so we don't get any pulse width. Hmm. Okay, now this is coil order A, B, C. So uh, we'll see if this makes any difference or not. Probably just gonna blow shit up. Holy shit. Something just happened. Okay, so apparently it's ABC. Huh, all right, so I got something to work with, I guess.